big tobacco was forced to um, run some ads in the U.S. Uh, by a court order. And basically the courts are saying, listen, you have to correct the record about the health effects of smoking. For years and years and years, you lied. That's fraud. So now we're forcing you to run ads that talk about the real effects of smoking. So I want to show you an ad here. Again, remember, court order is telling tobacco companies you have to run these ads. So let's watch it, then we'll discuss. A federal court has ordered Altria, R.J. Reynolds Tobacco, Laura Lard, and Philip Morris USA to make this statement about the health effects of smoking. Smoking kills, on average, 1,200 Americans every day. More people die every year from smoking than from murder, AIDS, suicide, drugs, car crashes, and alcohol combined. Smoking causes heart disease, emphysema, acute myeloid leukemia, and cancer of the mouth, esophagus, larynx, lung, stomach, kidney, bladder, and pancreas. Smoking also causes reduced fertility, low birth weight in newborns, and cancer of the cervix. Hot diggity damn. How's that for an ad? <laughs> Whoa. Um, so I wanted to discuss this because I think there's a, I think it's a difficult issue. Um, on the one hand, everything that they're saying in this ad is 100% factual and backed up by the evidence. And the tobacco companies lied about this stuff for a very long time. So, on the one hand, I say, yeah, fuck them. Make them run the ad because they lied. This was fraud. They need to correct the record. And um, I think it's overall a good thing. But then on the other hand, you think about it and you go, yeah, but they're being held to, held to their own standard. So, for example, it's not like alcohol doesn't kill a tremendous number of people. It does. So, if you're going to force the tobacco companies to say oh, by the way, here are the real effects of smoking, then I don't see why... So, like, alcohol companies, maybe they didn't make claims that were blatantly false, but they did lie by omission as opposed to commission. They lied by omission. So it's what they didn't tell you about alcohol that is devastating about alcohol. So they might have all these ads, people drinking hard liquor or people drinking beer or wine or whatever, having a good time at a party and like, woo, isn't this great? Don't you want to be like us? We're having a party. We're having a fucking tropical fiesta or whatever the case is. But then it's like, okay, you're not explaining how, what percentage of American uh, or how many Americans died of cirrhosis of the liver, how many Americans died of whatever problems X, Y, and Z, how many Americans became alcoholics and they had their lives ruined or, or, even if you want to just limit it to health problems. Okay, well, why are you not? So in other words, if you're going to force tobacco companies to run this ad explaining all the negative facts about smoking, then I don't see how that is not singling them out. Like, wouldn't you also have to run ads from um, alcohol companies explaining the downsides of alcohol? And then wouldn't you also want to run ads about the downsides of... Um, excessive eating of fast foods and how many people die from heart problems that are related to poor diets. And then, so you see what I'm saying? I, it's not an objective equal standard. It's like saying we're going to single out this one vice and crack down on this vice, but we're going to give all the other vices a pass. That feels weird and that feels wrong. Um, but again, on the other hand, everything they're saying here about smoking is true and it's, like, important to get all this information out to people, to let them know. Like, hey, just letting you know, like, if you want to smoke, fine, but here's what you need to know. Here are the facts. You need to know this. So, I'm kind of split on this. I must say that overall, I think I lean in favor of, yes, do it, because they lied. It's They lied in the past for so long about the effects of smoking. So, it's like, okay... You committed fraud. You lied to people about the product. They bought it. Many of them died. And now you have to fucking correct the record. Um, but I would say that if we are going to go down this road, then it does feel like you have to do something somewhat similar for other vices. Um, and again, we would need to be objective about this. And like, you or I might have a vice that we like. Um... And there, but there are also some bad facts about that 
vice. And I don't know, like, so let's say smoking marijuana. I don't think it's nearly as bad as drinking alcohol or smoking uh, cigarettes. But is there a certain percentage of people who get into car accidents because they drive while they're high or something? So would you have to do ads against driving while high? You see what I mean? So I don't know where I fall on this. I have very mixed feelings. But I think overall, there is something about it that I lean in the direction of, yes, this makes sense. Because for so long, they got away with selling a product and pretending there wasn't really much wrong with it. And not only was there stuff wrong with it, it's one of the most deadly products there is. So, and just to give you the facts, they say, uh, two, the two sides, the court and the companies, came to an agreement in 2014 that the ads are going to be published five times over several months in more than 50 newspapers across the country and five times per week for one year on primetime network TV uh, on channels like NBC and ABC and CBS. And the ads are estimated to cost the companies around $30 million. So then another aspect of the story is, okay, but then isn't that an unfair, like, punishment on them? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I lean in favor of it, though, because I feel like you need to get the facts out there, and these are facts, and they hid them for so long. But I'm, I come to that conclusion reluctantly, and in an open-minded way, because then you do open the door to a standard where every vice, they need to be totally upfront about every downside about it. And I'm always in favor of more information, but it also is true that you don't want the total flow of information to become propaganda where you're only seeing the downsides of it. You know what I mean? So like with cigarettes, okay, here are all the downsides of it, all facts. But then, yeah, some people really enjoy smoking and they say it's like a stress reliever and yada yada. So all the facts matter and I feel like if you're going to do this for alcohol, for cigarette companies, you might have to do it for alcohol companies too. And I just hope that it never crosses into the line of propagandizing in a way that's not true or in a way that's misleading. But anyway, th that's my thoughts on this. I thought it was a very complex uh, issue and I'm curious to see what everybody thinks.